Good evening, Spirits of Vengeance, and welcome back to the Ghost Rider Vlog. So today we're going to talk about issue number 42 of the original Ghost Rider run, The Lonesome Death of Johnny Blaze, as it is titled, both on the front cover and inside cover. Front cover, um, a little bit better than the last couple, um, we have pink silhouettes with shadows on them for some reason in the cover, but, uh, that could be ignored, easily ignored for the kind of shadowy mood lighting on all these characters, and the Ghost Rider looks pretty decent. Although I think they're still trying to do the little red dots in the eyes, it... Nah. Anyway, we picked up where we left off, with uh, Giant Blaze still having amnesia and suddenly becoming Ghost Rider in the middle of the night and running off into the wild. Uh, the Ghost Rider is apparently still focused on this uh, gang of robbers and uh, has managed to find another attempt at an armored truck by the same gang. So he arrives and gives chase, uh, capturing the two that were in the armored truck, and he starts to get information out of them. He finally decides it's best to head back and turns back into Johnny Blaze after uh, getting back to Gina's place. Uh, wherein he accidentally sleeps in until 3 in the next uh, afternoon and uh, quickly heads off to the racetracks to catch up on what's been going on just in time to see Gina crash her race car with the new experimental fuel they've been using. Uh, the others are trying to get fire suits and extinguishers but Johnny knows it's going to be too late by the time they get all that together. He quickly races out there in Gina's car using the back end of it to uh, burst through a fence and pulls her to safety just before the car explodes. Obviously, the two have had quite a little connection, having uh, saved each other's uh, backsides now uh, at least twice. But uh, Carl, the uh, engineer guy, is still not having it, so he wants to have a race with Johnny. Whoever loses has to leave for good. Um, Gina is kind of against the idea, but allows it to happen anyways, just to get Carl off her back. Uh, to which uh, Carl purposely slams Johnny's uh, car into the cliffside because he had nowhere else to go as he was getting cut off. And But uh, Carl doesn't just want to leave it as he got crashed and th that was a cheap move and that's that. He comes back after Johnny uh, wanting to actually officially kill him and hits him over the head of a crowbar just as his memory finally jogs again and he uh, ha has full memory of who he is now. Uh, he's rendered unconscious, pushed in, uh, over a cliff with the vehicle, and is awoken just in time to become the Ghost Rider to save himself from the resulting explosion. However, as the Ghost Rider, he could care less about Gina, and as uh, Johnny, he can't actually remember the entire time he had amnesia. So the Ghost Rider runs off to continue fighting the Gang of Jackals, whom uh, he got the information for where they were going to meet that evening, gets there, sets the entire place ablaze, and gets confessions out of a lot of them, and also using the same magic flame touch that he has been using, convinces them that they shall also turn themselves into police and uh, um, essentially plead guilty to all the crimes that they have committed. And as we see the next day, Giant Blaze is off on the side of the road, trying to remember it all and he just can't find anything but blanks in his head. Meanwhile we see a quick couple of frames of Gina at home crying because Frank is gone but they couldn't find the body either so she's just praying that maybe someday she'll get, get to meet him again. And that's a pretty much a close chapter on this one. Interesting little two-part tale. Um, uh, I, it's sad to have a half happy half sad ending but uh, you never know when things like this might come back in the mythos, uh, especially during the 70s and 80s when they started to really get into that kind of thing. So we will see if Gina ever pops up again. Maybe she'll get attached with somebody else, who knows. But we'll have to wait till then, otherwise uh, we'll see what the next story is going to be, and I will see you all then. Good night. <laughs>